This one goes out to all my dads and all my moms out there that have kids. One kid, two kids, three kids, doesn't matter. You are saints. I feel your pain with three kids myself. And some days it feels like we just can't even make it, right? Everybody's screaming, everybody's going crazy, everybody's pulling on your pant leg, and you feel like you just wanna pull your hair out. Been there. Let's talk about how to calm the chaos in your house, calm the chaos with your children, and how we can move throughout the day with a better poised, focused, and mindful attitude so that we don't end up losing more hair than we need to before it starts turning gray, right? Let's discuss today. Hey, welcome to Hyper Academy. My name is Ryan Fields Spack. It's a ruthless world out there. How do you stand up and step out? You do it by getting your mind right. That's what Hyper Academy is here to explore on every single episode. This week's gonna be kind of a fun one. We talk a lot about EMS and fire and serious professional challenges that we all face. This one's near and dear to all of our hearts, at least if you have a kid. This is how we can both um, talk with one another, man to man, man to woman, and challenge ourselves to um, survive the day, right? We have so many things that we go through, especially if you're still one of those people that works from home and have to deal with the kids still pulling on your pant legs while you're trying to have a conference call at work, right? So many things can pull you in different directions all over the place. And being able to calm the chaos in your house and more importantly, not allow yourself to get wrapped up into that chaos and get pulled away and get frustrated and sometimes maybe even say things that you don't wish that you had said after the fact. There's tools, there's techniques that we can all use maybe to improve upon our ability to perform a little bit better during those situations. So let's talk a little bit more about it. As I said, uh, Ryan Fields, I um, have three children, beautiful, amazing, wonderful children of two, five, and seven years old, two boys, one girl. And our house, as you can imagine, especially during the summertime, is absolutely crazy. I do still work from home. I'm still taking calls early in the morning because my peers are on the East Coast. I'm in mountain time. So when breakfast is going and things are typically their most crazy is when everything is really loud in the house is also when I'm having to talk with my supervisors and my peers to be able to get things done and moving forward. So how do you manage all of this? How do you manage the fact that you are trying to make that phone call? You're trying to present a presentation deck and you've got people walking into the door or you've got people that are screaming from the other side of the house. And you know the scream, right? If you're a parent, you definitely know, okay, well, that scream is just a, I'm a frustrated scream. That scream is I'm really hungry scream. That screams they're just fighting with each other. And oh, that scream, there's probably blood that's coming out of that screen. So maybe we should go out and check that out. They're all different, you know all of them individually, so you're pretty good at being able to check those out. But coming out to de-escalate whatever situation is causing that screaming, at least for me, is a daily challenge. And I try my best every single day to improve upon it. I not always succeed, but there are some things that I utilize that I've looked back on, studied, researched, and practiced for years and years and years that have allowed me to function a little bit better, I would like to say. And I would just want to share that with you today. Maybe it's some tips that might be able to help you out a little bit more. So let's talk about three specific things that I utilize on my daily basis to be able to perform a little bit better when I really want to pull my hair out or scream at the children and, and have them go up to their room, right? So the first thing that I do every single morning is I meditate. And you might think, meditation, Ryan, that's not where I thought you were going. Meditation doesn't seem like the best way to improve upon this. But I would beg to differ. Meditation is something that I have focused on for years and years and years. And what I really had wished back in my day was that somebody would have taken those meditation capabilities. All of the tools and the tips and the research and the reading and all of the things that the gurus and the monks that have been doing this for millennia have passed down through that literature. 
I wish that somebody had just consolidated all of that information into one package so that I could learn more about meditation in a very simple, quick, concise way to be able to implement it in my life. Because that meditation practice has absolutely and fundamentally improved upon my ability to perform. And what I mean by that is when I meditate in the morning, I make sure, of course, to get up early before the kids are awake. Otherwise, it's absolutely shot. So I try to wake up at least a half an hour before the kids are awake. I come down. I sit in this very chair right here, and I sit and I meditate. Sometimes it's for just as little as two minutes. Sometimes it's five. If I really get lucky and sometimes I get up earlier, I set my watch for 10 minutes and I do a meditation. And the meditation is very simple. I focus on my breath. And when my mind immediately goes away to some other thing that I have to focus on and do during the day, I acknowledge those things and I bring my mind back to my breath. And I acknowledge it, bring it back to the breath. I acknowledge it and I come back to the breath. When I focus on my breath and I get that rep in my mind, that capability and that ability to focus will help me to not allow all of those extraneous things during the day or the kids screaming, the kid pulling my pant leg or trying to focus on the call while somebody's screaming bloody murder in the back of the room and focus on the moment that I'm in right now and be able to prioritize the objectives and the tasks that I need to complete in order to rectify all of the craziness and chaos that's happening around me. So by meditating in the morning, it will allow me to perform better throughout the entire day by allowing me to focus more on the tasks at hand. So meditation is absolutely huge. Second thing I do, when the chaos has broken loose, when everybody's screaming, I utilize a mindfulness exercise and I focus my mind down specifically to the task at hand. And by doing this mindfulness exercise, which I just talked about um, that you can download for free, I take three steps and it takes 10 seconds and I'm able to directly focus my mind. I open my hands, I release my jaw, I take one mindful deep breath, and that lowers my pulse, it lowers my blood pressure, most importantly, it lowers my anxiety. Physically, and by science within my body, all the catecholamines and all of the um, stuff that's flowing around in your bloodstream, the dopamine and all the things get flowing into your bloodstream and it lowers your anxiety level immediately and you're able to focus better. And more importantly, you're able to take uh, note of the situation that you're dealing with and not overreact because now you're in a present state and not just reacting to the few things that happened before this that are allowing you to, to come forward and making you come forward and address the crazy situation in the house, right? So I do a mindfulness exercise when I'm getting ready to address my kiddos and try to level things out or de-escalate, right? So that really helps me quite a bit. And then finally, when I'm getting ready to engage in things, I do my absolute best to approach the kiddos with a calm, a poised, a monotone controlled voice so that I can de-escalate the situation for everybody. You've definitely been in the situation before where you just come out and you're screaming at the same level that they are, you're irritated at the same level they are, and you're speaking as fast as they are, right? And what do they do? They speak louder, they speak faster, and they get in a higher pitch voice, and you follow suit, right? And this whole thing, this whole tornado just goes completely out of control, and it takes even more to calm it down. So, no matter how loud they are, I do my best. I'm not always successful in this, but I do my best to come out, calm down. Okay, you sit here. You sit here. Tell me what's wrong. Tell me what you need. Tell me why you're screaming. Let's talk through this. And if they can't calm down, you need to sit here, take a breath, and talk to me when you're ready. While at the same point, if I kind of know what's going, I'll go get that snack. I will go and get the toy that was broken. And I'll try to mitigate the situation that's happening there on site. Um, and I will uh, try to start fixing some of the problems while everybody else is cooling down and lowering their anxiety levels at the same time, right? So those are the three things that I try to do on a daily basis. I meditate. I get myself in a mindful state of mind and I approach the situation with a calm, level-headed, low voice, slow voice, monotone approach so that everybody else can start to come down to my level rather than me going up to theirs. 
seems to work. I'm curious what you do. You're a parent, you have had multiple occasions like this, and there is definitely more than one way to skin this cat. So leave some comments, leave some thoughts in the, the uh, comments below about what tips you have. This is the ultimate community that we are a part of. It'd be great to hear from you and learn more about what works for you. Put them in the comments below. We'd love to have that discussion. If you're listening on the podcast today, give it a shot. Try a mindfulness exercise. Try downloading that free guide. Try doing some meditation and try approaching the next chaotic situation in your house that has to do with your kids with a calm, poised, confident, controlled manner. See if it works for you. Hope you really enjoyed this content today. We talk a lot about fire and EMS if you're in that field. We talk a lot about professional development, but we mostly talk about how to improve your capability by focusing and transforming your mind to be the best person you can be. If you like this kind of stuff, if you think I earned it, give me a thumbs up. If you like this as well and you want to get more of it, please subscribe to the channel or to the podcast, and we'll talk more next week. Hope you have a good day, and thank you. No doubt you've heard about it. Meditation can help you focus and perform better. It's all over the internet, but you're a busy professional. You don't have time to set aside for meditation. How do you do it? How do you improve upon your ability to meditate? And does it really work? Let's take five minutes and discuss how meditation can help you as a professional.